All right, so I'm sat here with Msuvukile Magwaza. Um, second fight on ESPN Africa. Um, you're back after that long period of time. Uh, how's everything been in the preparations for this fight? Yeah, uh, thank you, man, for giving me the opportunity. Uh, this is Msuvukile, like you said. Um, I'm feeling great, man. I'm feeling good. Yeah. I'm feeling very, very good. I'm feeling ready for the fight. Preparations has been going very, very well. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, again, another good opponent. You had Sanele Moduna last time, who was undefeated. You took his, you gave him his first loss, and now you got Sibelo and Gibiana, who's a southpaw. He's a dangerous southpaw as well. Yeah, now I've got uh, now I've got uh, Sabelo and Gibiana in front of me. He's a southpaw. Yeah, he's a good fighter. He's a good fighter. I can't take anything away from him. He's a good fighter. Uh, I've been watching him. Uh, I know Sabelo. I know Sabelo very well. He knows me very well. Uh, he's been watching my fights. I've been watching his fights. Yeah, we, we used to train together uh, back in the days here in Cape Town uh, before he moved to Joburg. Yeah, so all of his fights, I've been watching him, not knowing that uh, one day I'm going to fight him, but I've been following his career like as someone that I know. Yeah, so I see, I see no problem. And uh, obviously, we go by you know most recent performance. He went to England and he got a win there against uh, Ashley Sexton. What did you think of that performance? Uh, he performed very well. But uh, let's take a look at now at, uh, at uh, Ashley Sexton. Who's who's who is him? Who's Ashley? How, uh, I mean, the guy was old, and look at his record. Ashley's record. Actually, look at look at his uh, past two fights. Uh, Gibiana's past two fights. Who did he fought? You see. Yeah, so I see no problem. Ashley, uh, I, I, watching him fighting Ashley, I was like, this, but this fight is supposed to be like, to be his, like maybe first round knockout. Yeah. All right. So the, do you see a danger in him though? Like, I mean, although because he did get the stoppage at the end of the day, I mean, he does possess power. Yeah. Yeah, Sabelo. So I take like like I said before, I take nothing away from him, but his boxing stance. I mean, sorry, his boxing style uh, compared to my boxing style. I've been comparing like the styles. I don't see him touching me. I don't see Sabelo for real. I, I, I'm, I'm sitting here just to think, how is this guy going to beat me? I, I, I see no chance. Yeah. And you obviously, I mean, you've been in the game for a very long time. He's the guy that's on the upcoming circuit at the moment. Um, you, you anticipate him being very hungry for this fight, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sabelo is gonna come forward. He's gonna come to me. He's hungry. He's, you want it. You want my name. They all want. All of these young boys. They want my name. Uh, I've, I've been around, man. I've been around. I know how to control. He's a southpaw, uh, a, a coming forward fighter. Uh, sometimes he's swinging. Uh, so uh, I've been watching him. Like I said before, I know him. Yo, so I, I see no problem facing him. You know, uh, they all want my name, man. They all want my name, and uh, I'm telling you, they won't get it. <laughs> they won't get it, man. Well, I mean, last fight, I mean, Sanello Maduna is a second-round knockout from yourself, a highlight real finish. Are you anticipating stopping him within eight? Uh, anything can happen. I don't play in knockouts. I don't play in knockouts. Uh, I'm just, uh, I, I just prepare for, for anything. I just prefer for anything. But if the knockout come, then I will go for it. Then I will take for it. But even if you can go on points, I don't think Sabelo will, will, will be quicker than me. I don't think Sabelo will, will dominate more than me. Nah, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> no. So do you think uh, you have a, um, a skill advantage, speed advantage, uh, experience advantage? Is that, is, am I correct in saying that you think that? As compared to Sabelo, 100%. As compared to Sabelo, 100%. Uh, uh, I know, I, like I said before, I've been watching Sabelo. I know Sabelo. I know Sabelo. I've been watching him uh, fighting Nike. I've been watching him fighting overseas. Uh, the, the first fight overseas, he fought fight, he, he lost. And then I've been watching him fighting Ashley, like you said. I've been watching him fighting uh, sequence, uh, Motole. Uh, I, I, I know Sabelo. I know, how, to, I know how, 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 how can I handle him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right, so this for for you is, is like a step. Is is that right in saying that? Yeah, currently now exactly like you said, it's not about Sabelo. Now it's about me. It's about me. It's it's, it's about me. Like uh, I fought with Maduna. That was the first step. Now this is Sabelo in front of me. That is, is my second step. So I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward. Not that I, I underestimate the guy. No, 
But I'm, I'm I'm looking forward, man. Now I'm back. Now I'm back. I'm back. I like with a bang, man. <laughs> now I'm I'm not taking anyone easy or or anything. I'm just working hard. Uh, uh, there's something that these 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 guys don't know. Like now, I I I can read myself. Like I said, now I'm dangerous than before. Now now I'm curious. Now I wanna I wanna learn. I wanna do. I wanna do more more than I used to do back in the days before I got shot. Now I'm more now I'm more dangerous now. So these this boys must watch. I wanted to ask that as well. Do you think that a lot of boxers, especially in South Africa, underestimate you with the knowledge that you had been shot? All of them, I can say. All of them, they underestimate me because they come with that mentality that uh, he's, been, he's been sitting down for four years. Uh, you know, he's been shot, uh, maybe no balance. Uh, they don't know. They don't know what's coming for them. Man. They don't know what's coming for them. Bring them in front of me. I'll break them, bro. And you know that in Gibiana gets quite heated, it weigh in in the in the fights. Uh, are you anticipating some animosity coming your way? Uh, like I said before, it's not about Gibiana. It's about me. Yeah. It's about me. I don't care about him. I don't care whatever way he was, way what happened to him. I don't care about him. It's about me now. It's my, it's about me. So I focus more on myself than Gibiana. So like I said before, Gibiana, I already know him. I already know the boy. So I'm, now I'm focusing on myself. I want to focus more on myself, and then I want to get myself ready for the fight. That's all. So I'm not jumping over or taking steps, but is the next one for you uh, going to be a title shot? Uh, not so sure yet. Not so sure yet. I don't want to rush anything. I want to build it up like this. Like I six, did six rounds with Madonna. Now Sane, Sabelo, eight rounds. Then next, maybe 10 rounds. Then we can go to a title shot like Tel France. We'll see. So you kind of got like a path in your head that you want to go through. You are going to keep regular now. I mean, this is, will be two fights halfway through the year for you. I mean, that's that's relatively active in uh, in South Africa. Can you repeat the question again? You're relatively active in South Africa. I mean, you'll be the second time you fought in half a year. I mean, that could equal four fights in a year potentially. I mean, that's active. Yeah, yeah, that's active, man. I'm, I, I like it. I like it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, hopefully, after this fight, maybe I can fight again in the, before the end the, the end of the year. I would, I would I would love that. Sure, I would love I'm that. Sure love yeah, that. because man, it's been whole four years like not fighting. So now, now I'm back. Now I wanna do more. I wanna cover the score. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is there, is there anyone else locally? I know that you, you know, you've been, you know, but you're rebuilding now. But is there anyone else locally that you're looking at and thinking that's a nice fight for you? Nah. Yeah. There, yeah. There's a lot of guys in the in the junior feather which there's guys like Tato. There's guys. There, there's a lot of guys. There's a lot of guys. Uh, on the on the on the junior featherweight is, is, is a very busy division, so there's a lot of guys above me. Now I'm ra- ranking I think number seven, eight in, in, in South Africa. So yeah, above me there's still a lot of guys that I need to fight. Well, at one stage I think you were like quite highly ranked on box rec as well, and now you like quite low ranked. So you're gonna need to do the rebuild now. How quick do you think you'll get back into that top twenty position? Uh you know that's not a problem at all for me. For me, uh, about ranking in the box rec and stuff, uh, that's that's not a problem. For me at all, if I can, if, uh, the, even even I, I don't even check the the, the rankings on the box. Right? I don't even check. I'm, I'm I'm focusing on South African rankings. I'm for, I'm, I'm for, for now. I'm I'm focusing on the the guys that I need to fight. So if I can be number one on on on, on South African rankings, then why why not that the box right cannot put me up 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 of the uh, uh, rankings? You know. So for now, I'm focusing on the South African guys. So. Even, 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 even the the South African title. If the if the chance come, I can I can take it. Okay, so that's in your mind now. I mean, there's a lot of guys that might not be happy with the, the fact that you're chasing them in South Africa because uh, of your experience. Um, but that is a goal for sure. Yeah, that's a goal, man. That's a goal, man. Not that not that if uh, something came from international, I cannot I can refuse it. You know, I can take it as well. You know, like I said before, for now I'm I'm, I'm trying to cover I'm trying to cover the, the the score. Now it's been a long time since I'm um, sitting down doing nothing. Like in terms of I of course I was doing the rehab training, but stepping the ring it's, it's been a long long time, man. So now I need to now that I'm back, so I need to make sure that yeah I'm working. And how are you going to counter the, you know, you came up last time for only two rounds, but how do you counter the altitude factors when you go up to Joburg? Uh, I didn't have a problem with the altitude at all because I was there like two days before the fight. Uh, yeah, one day before the weigh in, then yeah, two days before the fight. I didn't, I didn't feel anything. I didn't feel, I was breathing fine, anything. I don't know if, I don't know if I'm, 
I'm going up with the rounds. How how am I going to feel? But I would like to be there like two days before the fight, like 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 last time. So I, I didn't see any problem with the attitude. And how's the how's it been at ESPN as well? Like, how, what's the experience been like for you compared to what you had previously in your career? Uh, promotion wise, no, nah, it's good. It's very good. ESPN is a, is a, is very busy. Like it's a big promotion, so it's very nice. I'm very happy to work with the guys. It's very, very nice. Uh, I really appreciate the chance that they give me, you know. So, yeah, it's, 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 like the feeling is, is much like it's, it's good. Uh, it's good. I can, I can put it that way, man. Well, it'll be a second time for you. So let's see, let's see how it goes. You versus Sabella and Gibeon. Do you have a message for, for Sabella before you guys step in the ring? Uh, the message for, the message for Sabella is like, ah, Sabella, keep, keep doing good, bro. Uh, give me, give me the, give me the good fight. Come. Come, like, bring your A game. Bring your A game. Come, give me a good fight so we can show people that we can do this. Yeah. All right. And then just lastly from you, uh, do you have any thank yous, any shout outs for anybody? Yeah. Uh, I would like to thank my team, man. Yeah, they're working very strong. Uh, I would like to thank uh, ESPN guys. I'd like to thank uh, also uh, Devon, Devon Carr. Yeah, he's always, he's always, like, working behind the scenes. Uh, my coach, everyone that is always supporting me in the gym, the sponsors, I thank them very, very much, man. And top of that, I thank God for, for bringing me back to boxing.